microphone. Forgot to plug her in. There we go. Check, 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 check. All muscle cars are crap. All right, boy, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back, welcome back. You know the deal, garage door closed. Okay, as I head off to work to waste another 12 hours of my life, I figured I'd knock this video out. Crazy thing is, I actually shot this video once already yesterday, got back home, Put it all on my computer, no audio. I had the microphone wires in backwards. Yeah, so I pretty much wasted what little time I had yesterday. Round two. For all you returning Porsche fans, you know how I do. You're driving a Porsche, you need to look the douchebag part. Boom, douchebag. Now I'm a Porsche driver. <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to let you know five things I hate about my Porsche 911. Of course, there must be something I hate, you know, there's no perfect cars. And like in my Honda list, these items will go in order from the items, the things that bother me the least, to uh, what bothers me the most. All right, let's start. Coming in at number five, the shoulder bolsters on the seats. All right, just trying to show off. Just trying to show off with his Lexus. That's just, it's just a Toyota. Your fancy Lexus is just a Toyota. Anyway, damn, look at her. Shit, what was I saying? Yeah, coming in at number five, the seat bolstering on the shoulders. As you can see, there isn't any at all. I mean, me, as small as my frame is, you can feel that there's something missing right here. Now, it's not a huge problem, but it is quite uncomfortable when you first hop in the car and you're not used to it. I've had the car for a while now, so I'm used to it, but when someone new hops in, they instantly feel the difference. You know, they hop, they hop in, they're like, what's wrong with these seats? I'm like, no shoulder bolstering, brah. Now, I know it's not like this for all 911s. Some of them actually has the fancy bolsters. A lot of them don't. As you can see, I don't. Coming in at number four. The fourth thing I hate about this car. The um, trying to shut the trunk, or frunk, front trunk, whatever you want to call it. Basically the way it works is it's like an airtight seal. And you can't just, you know with most cars, you leave it a certain height and you just let it drop easily and it shuts. This, doing that won't work at all. If you let it slam, it will not shut completely on its own. You still have to put your hand on it, smudge your clean paint and press it down. It's like that for most, all of them actually. Unless you wanna drop it from way up, which is not recommended at all. But uh, yeah, I don't like that. Oh, look at that swerve. Alrighty, coming in at number three. This one actually really, really bugs me. I don't know why. It is the electric seats. Most people like technology and stuff like that in their cars. I think it's absolutely silly. Why do I want to flick a switch so I can slowly recline or lean forward or for my, to pull my seat forward or back? Why do I want to flick a switch and do that when I can easily pull the lever and slide up and like Split second. Oh, RB. No, you don't, motherfucker. Oh. Not today, buddy. But yeah, that's what I was saying. The uh, electric seats, it's, it's useless technology. It's not needed at all. Oh, damn. Huh? Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. Say I want to recline. Look how long this takes. Still going, still going. And back forward, up, up, no gangster lean. 
no gangster lean. See how long that takes? It's, it's ridiculous. See, I want to slide, I want to slide back. It's just, it's useless, pointless technology. Why do I need that? Like, on any normal car, you just hop in, pull the lever, bam, bam, and I'm done. This is stupid. I just don't get it. Okay, number two on my list. This probably won't bother most of you, but it, it, it definitely bothered me. It bothered me enough to where I actually had to make a change. Number two on my list would be the stock exhaust. Unless you're driving the, uh, if you're not driving a turbo or a GT3 or GT2 or If you're driving anything slower than the uh, slower than the uh, the S, the S model, yeah, 911 S, Cayman S, Boxster S, yeah. If you're driving that or lower, the exhaust note it's not gonna impress you at all. As a matter of fact, the stock exhaust on most of these 996s and 997s. Even the 991s, it sounds a lot like a Kenmore washing machine. It's like you crank it up and like, oh, some, is someone doing laundry? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Which is why this is the, the first thing, the first mod I did with mine. It's actually the only mod I've done with mine. I just couldn't stand that factory exhaust. First thing I did was, oh, fab speed. Definitely fab speed. And now it sounds tits. Alright, coming in at number one, my first pick, the cream of the crop, what bothers me the most with these 996s, and I'm sure this bothers 99.9% .9 of you 996 owners also, it is these horrible, dreadful, pretty boxer headlights. Nothing's wrong with the Porsche Boxsters, but I bought a 911. I wanted a 911. If I wanted a Boxster, I would have bought a Boxster. Porsche, why? Why would you put Boxster headlights on these damn 996s? Why? Now, I know one of you Porsche fanboy gurus are gonna chime in saying, oh, oh, Porsche did it because, because they were trying to it was reminiscent, or they're trying to honor that, uh, that one stupid Porsche race car that won all these races. No one gives a shit about that race car. I guarantee you, no one gives a shit. When one of these, if you pull up behind someone and you're in a 996, I guarantee you the car in front of you is thinking, oh, look at that cute Boxster. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it may seem like I'm bashing this car a lot. Relax, it's fine. Porsche guys, calm down. Don't start crying like the Dodge Viper owners do, okay? Calm down, it's fine. Um, I like this car, it's a cool car, it's a fun car, it's been great so far. Those are just a few things that eh, gripes me. Hit me up in the comments about uh, your likes, mostly your dislikes. I wanna know your dislikes about your Porsche. Hit me up, tell me what you think. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe for more videos. I try to make them at least once a week. Until next time, peace. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> it breaks loose so easily in the corners. It's probably because my race tires are shit. That that may have something to do with it. Gotta take the cameras off. Camera one. Number
to. Shit. I can't get in. I, I forgot my fucking ID. Son of a... Well, that's just fucking fantastic. I got here like 20 minutes early. I don't have my ID. I can't get through the gate. I can't even clock in. Shit. Fuck me. And now that I'm running late and I really need to be moving, of course there's a fucking pickup truck in front of me. There's always a pickup truck slowing me down. And I'm back, late as hell. Supposed to be here at 1900, it is 1945. And my battery's about to die. Oh. Let's get the cameras off this bitch.